This right here is Carl. He's an old friend of mine from high school and a beginner climber, having only done a handful of sessions in his days. <laughs> Not that one. Then there's me, a high level climber with over a decade of experience, both on rock and in competition. And previously, I have also worked as a professional route setter, meaning I mounted the holds on the wall that people would climb on. This profession takes years to learn and probably decades to master. But in today's video, we're gonna see if we can speed up this process and have my complete beginner friend set a climb for me at my level with zero experience. All right, so before our beginner route setter arrives, uh, I figured I would toss up something, you know, kind of just for me, because this video is actually sponsored by Nature Climbing, who makes these holes that we're gonna set with today. Uh, I'll talk about them a little bit later because I'm really psyched to get setting. Uh, so yeah, let's get some holds up on the wall and uh, try and get one boulder up before he arrives. Okay, so I've just finished setting my piece, but we're gonna go get the, uh, the, uh, the fresh setter, because he just arrived, so I'll be back in a second. Here we go, I'm just gonna get him a mic and then we can get chatting. So this is Carl. Hi, I'm Carl. Uh, as mentioned, he was one of my high school mates. We've known each other for over a decade. And today you're gonna set a boulder for me. Um, sure. You're not a very experienced climber. I am not a climber. Like, but but I, you, you've watched a lot of my videos. I watched a lot of your videos. I did like maybe a summer of climbing five years ago maybe. Mm -hmm. So I have touched some of these things. But you know, that's about it. And this, this is the funny thing because like I, really don't know how a beginner will do as a setter. You know, like your vision of what's possible is basically what we're going to be exploring. Uh, but just to make it kind of possible for you to set something reasonable, you're going to get a couple of lifelines. So you're going to be allowed to ask my brother, Felix, who's literally a kind of like a carbon copy of me uh, for advice on one move. So you can let him try a move try and a move. ask like, oh, is this, what do I, why isn't this possible? Why is this possible? Or something like that. But just one move from him. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to get to ask Cordy a question if a sequence is reasonable. So if a couple of moves okay. are reasonable. Okay. And she can motivate like, yes, it looks reasonable because, uh, and she's an experienced setter, so that's why. Yeah, those are going to be your lifelines. <laughs> Two, <laughs> Two okay, lifelines. Great, great. I changed it. Yeah. yeah. Actually, what we're going to first do is I've set this boulder real quick before mm -hmm. you arrived. And uh, yeah, you can just observe, learn, and then get setting. Great. Exciting times. <laughs> <laughs> So that's my first move. Uh, okay. I got that's fairly, a big move. It's a big move. Yeah. I like big moves. You don't have you to do. set them as big. No. And you're going to get way more holds, so you can have smaller moves, but more like variety. Uh, but I'm going to try to do this one first. I believe in you. It's a challenge. How do you feel just observing so far? Like what, what strikes your mind? I realized that when I look at a problem, I don't really think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at you climb and I'm like, oh, cool. And then I realized, wait, I have to think about where I place stuff and how you're going to move. Yeah. And that's difficult because yeah. I've never thought about it. Interesting. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm super psyched to see what you come <laughs> up with because this is going to be absolute carnage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll try it again. One more time, baby. It's right there. It's like this close. So next, close. Next, so go. close. next go. Next go. Next go. <laughs> okay, you got it. You got it. Yeah, 
Oh, so close. <laughs> it's actually, it kind of works. Yeah, I'm psyched about that. I think what I'll do, and this is good, because this is a big part of the process. The hole I'm going to after mm -hmm. is just like that much too far away for it to be like a good move after the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, for the boulder to be consistent, which is something we're looking for. So I'm gonna lower the penultimate hold by just like half okay. a hand mm -hmm. to make it more manageable and you'll see how that affects the movement. Yeah, awesome. You can put them anywhere. I thought you had to put them by the holes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Easy picking. Oh. All right, so that's a boulder problem. Um, should we go for a send or do that later? I want to see you send it. Okay, I'll give it one send burn <laughs> and try to finish this one off. Uh, and then you start setting. Great. Sweet. Mm -hmm. You got it, you got it. Oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah, good job. Okay, we have one boulder done. Um, what do you think? I think that looks like an expert setter and I'm not an expert setter. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. And that's <laughs> the perfect segue to let's see how a beginner does. Okay, so while Carl is in the background contemplating why he agreed to this, uh, I want to talk about today's sponsor, Nature Climbing, because they uh, sent us these holds and they sponsored this video. And uh, it's a brand that I have come to absolutely love. Uh, I visited their workshop down in Denmark. And as we all know, the Danish are like the perfect mix between German superpower infrastructure and Scandinavian design, creating these beautiful, beautiful holds that are wooden with a granite texture on top of it. And uh, yeah, like it's hard to begin how much I love these holds. They bring outdoor climbing indoors in a very, very stylish fashion without, yeah, with like a very nice handcrafted design. Uh, so they do everything themselves in the workshop, like sanding it, scraping up the, the granite and, and all that jazz. Uh, and they've got these like stone holes uh, that are literally like actual rocks that they've um, shaped into climbing holes. Yeah, in short, they're fantastic people and they have an offer for us. So anybody who watches this video can get a 20% discount using the code in the link in the description. Uh, and you can buy either for your gym or for your home wall if you just want like an aesthetic design. You can literally buy the, these rails, or not the rails, but the, the originals. Put them up as a hangboard and condition your skin perfectly for rock climbing. Or if you want something else, you can get a brush with a custom design. These brushes are best brushes you can find essentially. Uh, I have my favorite climbing quote of all time imprinted on it, which is, I am the master of my own world, I control my own life, which is a Dave Graham quote from when he did the island. Uh, you can get anything uh, when you order it. So uh, get one for your friend, get one for yourself, or get any of the holds at 20% off using the code in the link in the description. Um, but yeah, let's head into the setting process and see what Carl can create for me with these fantastic holds. These are holds. Yeah. I can see that far. Um, I, like usually, I feel like I have a plan or something when I do stuff. I have no clue. It's like completely empty. So I'm going to pick up stuff. I'm going to go to the wall and I'm going to see if I can make them f like fit in places, I guess. I don't know. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to try because this, yeah, these are like, Okay, you actually have some grip on these. These are cool. That's good. Like Jesus. So you are allowed to use boxes to extend the wall if you need to. I am going to use boxes. Mm -hmm. You don't, I'm, but you don't have to. I'm gonna use one. Because I study game development and games are basically like make a path from point A to point B and then put obstacles and stuff in the middle. So I'm going to try to make something like an easy path and just put and remove stuff and see what happens. Um, He's got the brains for this. He's got the brains for it. Maybe I should go about this like the other way around. Start from where you finish. But 
I don't know how we're gonna finish. <laughs> I just know how we're gonna start. So this is what we do. Okay, we put one maybe here, like this. Okay. I guess your final, uh, I forgot, I remembered what the last lifeline is. You yes. can use my measurements. Oh, cool. Just for feeling the reach, but not for trying the moves. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, I think you can do that. That feels fine. But you need some, I'm gonna be a bit kind. You can place your foot on this. And now, hua. Hua? Hua. Because I want to transfer you from this very steep, I don't know what you call it, steep wall to this wall. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're here. You probably have like a foot there, maybe a foot there. And you're gonna get here somehow. This is how far I've thought so far. Now, now I have to think more. Can you go? Of course. Obvious. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. Can you get your foot there? Like, <laughs> I'm just... I'm just assuming by this point. Okay, here. This is amazing. I love this. This is so weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So... I, uh, it's... Because I want, I, I want it to be in the way. Sure. Yeah, this is it. We're gonna get you like over to that side and then something up there and then it's gonna be finished. All right, sweet. So I have to ask, what do you decide your holds on? <laughs> like what's your basis for selecting? Now you're holding this. Uh, yes. Okay. I think it's a 15 mil crimp, slightly in cut edge. Like you get a bit of texture, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so why did you choose? Why are you holding this? I felt like you need some place to rest your feet. And this has, if this is tilted, it has like a straight angle. Right, right, cool. So. It's, that's why I chose it. Okay, cool. I don't know what I'm doing, Emil. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great, though. I think you're doing thank great. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Can you jump from this? I guess you can. You can do anything. Super, Emil. Yeah. Okay. Like, is this it? This is it. Yeah. Master Chief Root Setter Carl Montgomery. That is I. And. This is the greatest boulder in the world. Uh, I'm gonna call it the masterpiece. The masterpiece. No, wait. <laughs> that uh, is the most arrogant name I've ever heard. I <laughs> yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, it's the masterpiece. Okay, uh, maybe I should use some. I should maybe use some lifelines by now. Wait, I could use Felix for one move. One move. Um, that is not a lot. Maybe I should use your measurements first. Can you have your right foot there and your left hand there? Okay, so you so want a left hand right, here, right foot there. Whoa, that's so easy. Okay. Uh, we're gonna move this one, like, <laughs> way further away. <laughs> like, here, maybe. Can I use your measurements again now? Yes. Left hand there, right foot there. That feels a bit more uncomfortable, that's okay. I think you can reach everything. I think it's fine. Sure. Okay, we're gonna borrow Felix. Let's go get the brother. Yes. Brother! Oh, brother. Let me just... You're my lifeline, save me, please. I will uh, try my hardest. Yes. Can't promise anything. So I wanna try the starting move. So you're gonna have your hands on these two. Yeah. And your feet down there Rocks. if you want to. Okay, just, just that one move. Yes. The moment of truth. I just have to measure some things here. Yes. Can I still hold? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can still hold. Okay, well, fuck it, I'm just probably just gonna try what. I didn't time it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm a huge fan of these holes. Very interesting. That was, that was an unsponsored comment, just so you all know. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from an outdoor climber, it feels very familiar. Mm -hmm. 
based on this so far, and I don't think my opinion is going to change with one more attempt. I, I don't think you'd need to change this move. I think it's like ideal. Uh, difficulty, so, yeah. Do you want to try it again? Yeah, I do want to try it again. It's kind of just for my personal enjoyment. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's, it's a, I think it's good difficulty. And the, it's, the move is like, it works as, as you intended. The masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, you set, you, <laughs> you set the proper five-star line. Okay, that, it's just worse with every attempt, so almost want to retract my statement. But uh, no, it's good. It's good. You can draw try it one more time if you want. I'll do I one shot then. Mm. Okay, okay, it, 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 would, go. it would go. It would go. Sure. Okay, it will go for sure. Thank you, Felix. Um, this gave me, <laughs> well, good feedback in the sense that I. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a master. <laughs> I'm an expert. Yeah, you're natural. <laughs> yeah, I'm a natural, baby. I'm gonna use my second lifeline. Oh, right away? Right away. Yeah. Right. So it's Big Cordy time. I'll take this. And Cordy. Sit in front of the camera. Yes, my master. <laughs> how, how long is the sequence? Yeah, we'll say like three moves, including the feet movements. Okay. Uh, and hand movements. So three hand movements and then including like how the feet follow. So All right. I would yeah. say. So I want to ask about like more of the second bit because Felix tried this bit and said it was perfect. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if he has basically like both feet here and one or two hands on this one, I don't know how he's gonna... My idea was maybe this or this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, like getting from that position to here like is that a good sequence um i th think it's way easier than mm -hmm. the part before so like it's a good sequence but i think the type of movement changes a lot and the difficulty as well yes okay so this is this is easy um so I would think of ways to make it a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Yeah, but I can't say how. <laughs> hmm? No, but that's, I mean, I can make it more difficult. Uh, I think <laughs> I'm going to try. Yeah, this is going to be tough. OK, <laughs> this is this is the new one. So. Big one goes away. I think that's fine. All right. Right there. Like that. Perfect. All right. Do we have ourselves a boulder now? I think so. I think this is it. And you viewers, dear viewers at home, can have a guess. How many attempts will it take? Let me know in the comments down below, and then let's try it. Do it. <laughs> oh. It was actually, this is good. Yeah. I think the, it's really funny. <laughs> the first move was at a really good level where uh -huh. I tried hard. Mm -hmm. Like Felix said, it was like a, a decent level for the move. The second move, if this was as it was before, mm -hmm. I would have quite easily held it mm -hmm. because of the angle. But now I had to like thumb press mm -hmm. to um, push my weight back. So I think yeah. we're at a good level. It's, that was a technical start. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's try uh, I'll try the second part yeah. uh, from this move. Mm -hmm. And onwards and see. Oh, okay. That should be good. Mm -hmm. If I get my foot on this, well, mm -hmm. and lean over on the hips. Yeah. In some very funky movements. I'm, I'm feeling good about this. Like you, sh I, you should. Yeah. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was going to be like too, way too easy. But I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, so... So I think I'd probably maybe move my feet over. This is the... Oh. That's so cool! <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> it's like really hip intense and... I think maybe, I'll try it again with this one. Mm -hmm. This might have been pushing it too far. Okay. Yeah. I definitely think Cordy was right that this hold was too good before. Mm -hmm. So it was good to switch it. 
Maybe this is just like pushing that a bit of extra. I'll try it one more time though. But it was hard to get. He can do it. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe it's there. Look at him go. Oh. All right. Okay, okay. We've done all the moves and I think it's, uh, it's quite evenly hard actually. This second part mm -hmm. is a lot more technical. Mm -hmm. So it requires me to like, use my hips and really fiddle with my hands and it starts off powerful. So it has a little bit of everything. Cool, cool. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. So close. Slightly more on the hips. Yeah. And then we're good. He's got it's it. Good. It's good. It's really good. Got it. Yes. You got it. 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 Oh, so close, so close. <laughs> yeah, it's very intense on the hips, like flipping this, you're uh -huh. basically getting only your weight over on your left foot, mm. which is super interesting because this is so bad that if you're just trying to hold on with your arms, like you're just falling out. Mm. I'll try it with a slightly stiffer shoe and then uh, that method I think is going to work. It was this, I think it was this close to It was this close. Going. Yeah. He has to switch shoes. Oh. Oh. I didn't know. Well, when he says it, it's obvious, but I didn't think about shoes being like different in that sense. Good banger. job. Banger. Banger. Amazing. That okay. is what we call a certified banger by a professional root setter. <laughs> this is <sighs> my masterpiece. <laughs> I'm super psyched. This was, it was, I'm so glad it was like, I, I thought it was going to be like, kind of you said, it was going to be way too easy or way too yeah. hard, but yeah. I, it looked good to me. It's good. It's good. Yeah. I guess a question for the audience. You've seen this technical masterpiece by Carl, and you've seen some chassis jumps before. Which is your favorite, actually, of the two boulders? Let us know in the comments down below, because uh, I think there could be some debate there. <laughs> because I actually think yours, even though you're a new setter, is really, really fun and interesting. Thank you very much. I'm glad. Yeah. Okay, I think, I think we're all done. Thanks for joining in on the channel. Uh, I'm super glad. This was so much fun. Yeah. Uh, I walked into this and I had nothing in my head. I had no idea what I was gonna do. And now there's something on the wall and that's super cool. And it's, it was so much fun just seeing you do it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm yeah. super glad. If you wanna see uh, Carl again, we, we, I have a video idea in mind where I challenge him by climbing on the same boulders as him, but me gaining weight. So like putting on weight vest and stuff for every attempt. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see that, let me know as well. Anybody who wants to try this boulder, it'll be at Kletter Center Telephone Plan for a while. I think that's it. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I guess, well, first of all, thanks for showing us around. Mm -hmm. Like this place is really, really cool. Yeah. Definitely something special you have going. Thank you very much. My, my question was really just like, what are you most proud of here at Nature Climbing? Mm, oh, that's a good question. So I think for me, it's really about not just uh, producing a lot of products, but mm. making products that I am I'm proud of and that I see a function in, you know, the same as we spoke about with the stone hanger. Mm. Like I really like this new one. It's a product that I see as a nature climbing product, not yeah. a 
you know, similar product to some other brands. Like the uniqueness. Yeah, the yeah. uniqueness and that you can see in the design and the look that this is native yeah. timing. Or, yeah, 